Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, somebody asked me if there was an easy way in Windows to know what takes up all the space on the hard drive. Uh, and it comes to the fact that that person noticed that when he asked or right-clicked on the hard drive to get uh, all the information, the properties, and so on, he noticed that there is a lot of space used. And in my case, for example here, right-click gives me a 296 gigabytes used and only 167 free. And so the question was, hey, what takes all the disk space? How do I know? In Windows 11, um, the easiest way to do so is simply to go into the settings in the system tab and click storage. Here, it's going to take a certain amount of time, depends on the speed of your hard drive, depends on, on, on the computer you're using, but it's going to calculate every folder that you see here. And you will maybe be surprised at certain things. For example, my temporary files here says it's 58 gigabytes. So I can click here and see, okay, what is all of those gigabytes? Ah, 33 of them are my download files. My recycle bin's at 24. That is worth adding here to remove. And so you can see every uh, aspect of what's taking all of those the, that space. By default, Windows will put check marks in front of what it knows to be uh, okay to remove. It will not remove automatically things that it doesn't know if you should or not. For example, here in the download, it's pretty big because I know I got several images of different software, some uh, images of some Linux distros that are several gigabytes, uh, images of different Windows versions, several gigabytes also. I don't really want to empty my downloads folder, but it's worth noting that it's really, uh, I think, a good thing to uh, remove the 24 gigabytes in my recycle bin. So that is something that is going to help out. And so total selected 26.8. And, you know, that's not negligible. It's uh, quite a lot of, uh, of space. So once you've chosen what you want to remove, uh, you just click the remove files. It's going to ask you, do you want to make sure that these will be completely permanently deleted? You continue and it will do the job and claim back that space from the different folders. And of course, you can go slowly and check it out. You can also check out um, installed apps. Sometimes you might have apps that are installed that are pretty big that you don't use. And if you don't use them, well, why keep them? So that is also something to check out. And of course, there's other where you can go and check it out. So every time you do a cleanup, you will see that it will refresh what it needs to check out. So now uh, I have 192 gigabytes free rather than 160 something like I had before, which uh, is a pretty good number. Uh, and so here, 33.4 gigabytes temporary now. Um, the installed apps, 51. So you can go and check out, okay, what app is taking the most space? Uh, and, of course, you can sort by name, but you can sort by size, large to small. See what's so big. Google Play Games, 2.88 gigabytes. Uh, Ubuntu, which is a distro that's installed within Windows, 1.6 gigabytes and so on. Uh, but overall, it's all things that are not that big, actually. And so um, that's all the things you can check out. And uh, who knows if, um, you know, what, what else you can remove maybe and check out in there. So once again, in system and in storage, and you will have the uh, idea of what's out there uh, that you can maybe remove to get and claim back some uh, disk space. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.